let's take a look at some graphs and find important pieces of information from a graph that will help us interpret. So this is a worldwide climate classification graph. It's found on wikipedia.org. And in this unit, we've been going over climate and some of the classifications of it. So the first thing to talk about is that usually graphs come with a title. And this one's a little interesting because it's on a Wikipedia page. And so the title is down here at the bottom. But usually there's titles at the top of the graphs. And when you create a graph, I encourage you to put the title up here. The next thing that you'll see on graphs is most graphs have what's called a key. And the key is more information that helps you interpret the graph. So this is a color-coded key. It kind of tells you that tropical is this green color, tropical wet and dry is this kind of grayish blue color. So then this helps you interpret the information from here. On this graph, it's the world. You see specific land masses, some specific cities in here, Moscow, Istanbul, New York, Vancouver, and then you can interpret from there the color codes and the climates. Some graphs are interactive. This one is a really interesting one. It talks about the monthly average surface temperatures from 1961 to 1990. And so what this graph is trying to show you or give you an example of is how climate varies from location and season. The months are rotating through. You can see the different colors changing. And then this is your key here. So this is the surface temperature. So the higher you get, it's this sort of red color. Um, and then the lower is this blue-green color. And that kind of makes sense with your prior knowledge, right? North Pole, South Pole, you tend to visualize a lot of snow and cold eras. So inter interactive graphs are really neat to see how things change over month periods. This graph is a monthly global image from NASA. Notice there's no key, and so you're just kind of looking at the changes from a uh, NASA space looking down on here. But as far as interpreting it, you're kind of like, ah, oh, what does this mean? I need a key to help me explain things. The world's cloudy and sunny spots. It's beautiful, huh? This is cloud cover by month from 2014. And then here we have humid and these are abbreviations. Notice this one doesn't tell us what these abbreviations are, so this might be really confusing for us, for those of us who don't have prior knowledge. So when you're looking at a graph or you're creating a graph, I want you to make sure you include a title so that people understand what the graph is showing and then a key to help explain that graph.